Mark my words. Thinks these are funny. <laughs> uh, now with Act's commentary. So yeah, I. Uh, what I wanted to do here was um, was was lift the Wizard of Oz like curtain. So yeah. Um, I had quite a sinking feeling on the night when um, the very first joke didn't work, which is <clears throat> why I went into this one, which is, uh, I've never seen a dyslexic person naked before, bodes well. Um, not an ad lib on the night, I'd written that in the last month or so before the performance. Now, what you're, what you're seeing here, the toilet usage bad opener, the toilet usage bad opener joke, um, I, I forget what, what gig this was, uh, at the time of recording, I'm up to 67, and definitely for the last, I mean, since, since re-gigging has returned, um, yeah. Gigging, re-gigging has returned? <laughs> what am I saying? Blimey, O'Reilly. Um, yeah, uh, just <laughs> post-pandemic, that has been my so, opener um, to sets. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great to be here. Uh, this was recorded at an arts festival in either June or July. Um, I wish they'd shown the ceiling at that point because it did have like Christmas lights on it. And I, I, I can't believe I'm using like. It had Christmas lights. I don't know what I'm saying now on the actual stage. Which is why if you've been promised a 20 minute set, it's about an hour. <laughs> uh, first ad lib of the night there, written on the night, uh, genuinely. Was <laughs> was lingerie that would turn heads. And it's, it's why I, um, it's why I had trouble in a legal case I mean, the numbers would have confused me anyway, but um, I had a problem with my, my local library. I wanted to sue them. 200 story building. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, I, I don't have a maths GCSE. Um, yeah, this is another thing that I, I don't like about this performance. Perfectionist what I is, um, mark my words, performs without a gender as a non-binary couple using a we pronoun. That's been going on for some time. Uh, I'm not good at maths, I can't remember how long, but, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm not here, it, the, the pronoun is I. It is what it is. When I was writing out all those R on the script, I ran out of ink, so uh, the next bit is going to be really interesting. <laughs> uh, second, second ad lib of the night. Um, was it wasn't meant to have um, a script. For this whole show, um, how I remember all the stuff that I slash we want to do in the sets that we do, mark my words, um, we just like remember it in a kind of photographic memory way, like we, we see our written scripts. Um, how we were asked to perform uh, and not entirely within our comfort zone. Uh, reaching for excuses, I I know, I get that. Um, what I uh, just did there was the uh, words section, uh, including a little ad lib about teachers, and um, 
Yeah, uh, I was going to do a section about food which involved eating yogurt live on stage. But because I'm not always good at getting food down while slightly stressed, yeah, that was uh, that bit was scrapped. Uh, I, I bloody love that falconry theme joke. Um, one of the best uh, I've ever written. Um, <laughs> what? This is my video. It's my commentary. No, I, um, I, I say a few things uh, for a reason. I mean, one of the things is I think that I'm probably about three minutes in now and my panic Tourette's hasn't kicked in. <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> so, uh, third ad-lib of the night there, and um, a joke based on the truth. <laughs> well, not based, it fucking is. Of, of, of all kinds of worship. It actually has the um, most religions by square blue whale. Um, well, that is called a callback. Um, in this case, it's a whale callback, but uh, <coughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I'd never performed this live, but I... I I really want to do it for years on, for, for, for years from this point onwards. Oh, there's, there's so much umming and ahhing in this. I mean, there will be that in this commentary, but also in the whale joke, you can't really hear it. I say, when I mention the callback, I say that's how it works when the medication isn't. Uh, please note that currently I am not on medication. I don't, I don't get uh, much abuse. Uh, a tiny uh, unintended joke there. Mm -hmm. Somebody called me feline excrement. I didn't quite catch it, but. Uh... <laughs> that is why I do comedy for moments like that there. Yeah, fourth ad lib of the night. They're written on the night, and um, it, it got nothing, as you saw. And um, I mean, even me saying that that's fine um, is is me saying is me huffing. Right, this bit here that I'm now halfway through uh, in the video. Uh, a very interesting story about this because. It's the joke about handicapped parking zones and everything. I saw this on Twitter and it was so good in my opinion that I bought it and paid money for it. I, um, um, looking back on it, um, car parking space joke, um, it didn't quite work, but of course I'm going to say that's my fault. I've done some work for Hollywood. It didn't fund me living in East Grinstead, but I've done a bit of film and TV extra in my main agency is called 2.10. Uh, another updatory kind of true fact here. Uh, they've changed uh, their name now. A lot of independent or indie features. Um, I've been in uh, Sheep, uh, the movie. It should draw a cloud. <laughs> um, Even I've heard about it. And it's, it's in, well, it's in for some awards. And, um, and I, I hope it gets there. That's four jokes in a row there. Uh, the play on words vis a vis the word trial. I mean, that, that'll have been done before. Boy, boy, I'll pick. Does anyone 
groaning as it's shit. Fifth ad lib of the night there. It might be a play on the word shit. I'm not confirming anything. Uh, there's also Wooden Fence, the movie. That's currently in post-production. <laughs> <laughs> Sixth ad lib of the night, uh, written on the night. So the scary water park flu. That was a week long shoot. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I was in uh, Brian Singer's Bohemian Rhapsody, Freddie Mercury biopic, and that's actually my first film role. And I ended up with a three second front of house cameo. I, I apologise for the jargon there. If it's, but uh, it was just, you know, it was just really good. But there were. There were some murmurings, if you know the background about this. Seventh ad lib, written on the night, and a bloody good joke. He was directed by Brian Singer. Again, we it, not now, on stage. But uh, I think that's a mark my words catchphrase now. Paid my way. <laughs> Given some lip service, which, uh, which I thought meant training to be a bit true crisp, but... Uh, yeah, in the longer version of this set, because as you'll notice, it's five minutes shorter than it bloody should be, uh, I actually did, I actually was supposed to do some ventriloquism at that point, especially as uh, no moustache. I don't quite know how to get out of the bribery act. I'm sure there's a few ways of doing it. <laughs> Sixth ad lib of the night. Uh, it's Jimmy Fallon's Dirty Dancing. Uh, that's a Uh, so what I'm doing here is my animal joke section, which um, is already on YouTube in an earlier video, which I think, well, it's not think I remember. It was filmed pre-pandemic. Um, if you want me to get unbelievably technical, and even if you don't, even if you don't want me to get unbelievably technical, again. Uh, my commentary, um, the the joke about the really long dog, I've done it before on stage, but this was the first time doing it live that the shrug has been included. Uh, there's an elephant in the room, um, if you will, because uh, the animal section either includes or concludes with an elephant joke. And it's uh, it's been admitted or not in it's it's not here. It's just I search me. To a song about dating. I <laughs> I learned my stage drop as a college years musician. My life changed a few times, and I came out the other side as a comedian, a really good one. And uh, <laughs> yeah, in my own opinion, the uh, background joke. Yeah, that that's the best. Uh, ad lib of the night. Um, that one just there is the second best ad lib of the night, in my own opinion. At the time, back in 2012, which is 10 years ago. Uh, that's the ninth ad lib there. Thought up on the night, I just thought I would milk that bad maths thing for all I could. I hope you like it. The really good thing about it is. Um, I remember it a lot. A much, I remember it much better than everything else. <laughs> so yeah, the song is, um, it's called Stop, Drop, Roll. That's the cue. Of course that not happening immediately pissed me off as I'd been asked, you know, to be 15 minutes instead of 20, etc, etc.
Uh, yep, that little on backing track shout is Eyeballs Go First. <clears throat> yeah, w when the apology happens, I'm apologising to the BSL uh, British Sign Language woman, who actually was really good. She's one of the best in the country, apparently. And I, I believe the people I work with. Uh, right, thanks for watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've never done a uh, commentary for a video before, obviously, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave you to uh, watch it through to the end.